Well, a historic turnout. That's how the Salt Lake County clerk describes a record number of registered voters and the turnout just so far. But some of those registered are a bit upset tonight because they say their mail in ballot still has not arrived. We're uh, supporters of Prop 2. For Peter McMullen, supporting medical marijuana is his right. So, too, is his right to vote. Surprisingly high number of people with the same story. And yet, Proposition 2 supporters on Facebook seem to be sharing similar stories to his. Those with signs in their yard for Prop 2, at least anecdotally, are saying their mail-in ballots haven't arrived. It's really frustrating. Frustrating. It's how a lot of people feel who haven't received their ballots by mail. And so we went to the county clerk to ask her what your options are before Election Day. If they didn't get a ballot mailed to them, they now have to go to an early voting location or a vote center. Salt Lake County Clerk Sherry Swenson says there are early voting locations available throughout the county. And as for people who say their ballots aren't arriving, most of those, she says, come from people who have moved and think their ballot will get forwarded, which it will not. If they're returning their ballot by mail, they have to have it postmarked by the day before Election Day. McMullen wanted to return his ballot by mail. Instead, he will vote in person with serious concerns, he says, about where his ballot is and whether it might have been stolen. The idea that somebody could be doing that, yeah, that's, that's bad. I mean, that's a felony. So here's the bottom line. If you have questions about voting, early voting, voting on Election Day, there is so much information online. But your best bet is to call your county clerk's office. They are ready to give you all the information that you need to vote.